Hello everyone, I bought this Bakaniko 65 kit from Canon Keys and I'm now just releasing this video. Sorry for the wait everyone, but not really sorry. The wait kind? Didn't you build a keyboard only like 4 months ago? Why build another? Well, here's the thing. I first got inspiration to build that keyboard from my cousins after seeing their custom keyboard. After I ended up building my 75% idle bow keyboard, I was satisfied. But as a result of my satisfaction, Kevin saw the keyboard and also wanted to build a 75% keyboard with tactiles as well. And as a result, he ended up building a KBD 75. And after seeing Kevin's new 75% keyboard, I realized I wanted to build a keyboard as well. But this time, I was ready for 65%. Right out of the packaging, I could tell that it was a premium heavy aluminum and I knew that I was going to have a blast building this keyboard. For this keyboard, I decided to opt out for some linears. I wanted a refreshing switch that sounds poppy and I felt as though marshmallow linears were the perfect switch for this build. I lubed and tuned the stabilizers as one typically would using car grease for the wires and 205 grade zero for the stabilizers. Now, the Bakaniko 65 utilizes a rubber o-ring mount that is supposed to be flush in between the PCB and the plate, so it sits snuggingly on the aluminum case. The standard one that comes with the kit is the 50A ring, but I decided to use the 30A ring instead, as seen here, for a more flexy, bouncier typing experience. Getting the o-ring properly installed inside the case was probably the most trickiest part of the build for me. Fortunately, I was able to get everything to work and also incorporated a tape mod on the bottom side of the PCB for the final build. In the end, if I were to recommend a keyboard kit, it would be this one and nothing really seems to compare to the bang for buck as this keyboard does. I was glad I waited for this keyboard instead of spending 300 plus for the mode 65. Don't look at me, you! Here's the Bakaniko 65 sound test with lubed and filmed marshmallow switches, lubed stock stabilizers, 30A o-ring, and the PCB tape mod. And there you guys have it, my finished Bakaniko 65. If you guys made this far, please consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later if you decide to. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.